Welcome all. So in this video, we will be using Let's Encrypt to create SSL certificate. So as you can see, Let's Encrypt is a non-profit certificate authority providing TLS certificates. So if we'll go to get started. So Let's Encrypt uses something called CertBoard to, pro to generate the SSL certificates. So if you go to CertBoard and use nginx and you can see there is no aws linux environment available but there is something centos rhel7 so we can use this thing probably let's let's see so open your intellij and under EV extension, we already have HTTP, HTTPS instance.config file. So, for sure, we don't need this right now for Let's Encrypt. These are all our self signed certificates. So, what I'm going to do is I'll just delete everything. So, what we need first, we need EPL release so this is the extra package for amazon linux 2 environment so prior to amazon linux 2 this package is already installed we just need to enable it but we are using amazon linux 2 so we need to install and enable it so the way the way we can do it using eb extensions is just use packages I remember indentation is very important to space rpm and e -P -E and I'll I will provide this link in the description so we need EPL because we, we are going to use third uh, part package so that package is available into epel that's the reason we are using this so next we'll be using something called commands so what this commands do is like whatever command i will give here it will be run prior to building any environments so whenever we'll deploy so prior to building actual environment this command will be run so and it runs in the alphabetical order so i'm using 01 install third port packages and the command will be do yum hyphen y install sort port hyphen in the next so this will install the sort port package from EPEL. What's next? So once we have the third port installed third port package installed next we will actually tell third port to generate the ssl certificate so i'll just give a name generate ssl and the command will be sudo third port Cert only we only need the certificate and nginx hyphen d so hyphen d stands for domain and for which domain we need to generate so we need to generate for def k online tutorials.com and for 
so we need to generate certificate for both devkonlinetutorials.com and www.devkonlinetutorials.com next flag is non-interactive no. and just provide your email i'll give info at the red While installing the cert bot, it asks certain yes or no and agree or disagree. We need to provide it manually. So with the command, I will just provide the flag as agree hyphen to. So by this, we'll be agreeing to everything. So that is it. So let's so one thing so once this command will run so here it will generate create the cert bot or install the cert bot and then with this command it will generate the SSL certificate okay so here are some prerequisites so remember when you're providing the domain make sure that this domain resolves to actual IP so so right now if we are using devkionlinetutorials.com it is resolving to something okay so this is fine and the next thing we need is go to dot platform and then it's conf and https.conf so by using this command it will generate the certificates on different folder and with a different name and the name for the public key will be it will generate under etc slash let's encrypt slash live slash domain name which is devk online tutorials.com and the name is fullchain.pen and copy this path and the private key will be private key dot pem private key dot pem i think we are good to go let's zip everything and deploy to the Elastic bin stock. So again, I will open this and delete all these three files. Okay. Copy it again. Command A. Right click. Compress four items. Create the archive.zip. Go to your AWS management console. Elastic bin stock. Upload and deploy. And let's deploy our archive.zip file. Create the new version and deploy. Okay, so we got an error saying that invalid YAML or JSON while scanning a simple key at line 8 could not found ex expected colon. See, okay, so I think I forgot the colon here. So let's zip it one more time. Copy. So in real world, actually, we will create a pipeline which will zip everything and deploy it to the Elastic bean stop, but for now.
compress four items and let's deploy and see if it's successful or not we already have version 4 so we'll just manually do version 5 and deploy so the deployment has failed again and the reason is open your IntelliJ or your ID go under https.conf and the name this is not private key.pem the name is P R I V Pref key dot pem. So that that this is the error, and that's the reason it's not getting deployed. So let's zip it one more time, and hopefully this time this will work. So I will again move this to trash. Copy both the files. Command A, right click, compress four items, and let's deploy this archive.zip. And let's deploy it. All right, so this time the deployment is successful. Now let's go to devkionlinetutorials.com and it got redirected to https and let's see the certificate here and you can see the certificate is issued by signed by let's encrypt authority and these are all the details here and you can see the certificate is valid till wednesday march 17 2021 So, so let's let's see another thing. Let's see if how we can automate the renewal process from Let's Encrypt. So they already provide the cron job for Let's Encrypt. So if I go to Let's Encrypt, get started, third bot, and I can choose Nginx in the system. I will choose. To us, and at the last, you can see that we can automate the process by using something called renew, or the command to renew cert bot is installed in one of the following tabs. So, I can use this line to automate it. And the way we can do this is just create an another file under .db extension called it can be any ring name. We just give it a new SSL dot config. So, so we'll create a new files and in this file will be under etc slash d slash and the name I need I wanted to generate is renew SSL so this will be the name and the content will be so what I am saying is here let me complete the command first three star star one slash ESR slash third bot oh sorry slash pin slash third bot new hyphen hyphen quiet so what I'm saying is here run this job on every Monday at 3 20 a.m and the so run this command and this root is the owner and the quiet flag stands for that if there is any message or user interaction just do it quietly 
without asking the user so this is what it says and we can just set this file again and deploy it so let's do one last time and move to trash see come on we right click compress four items Okay, so the deployment is successful and to test whether our cron job will work or not log in to your EC2 server. I am already logged in here and run this command sudo cert bot renew dry run. So this is a dry run. This will check whether the renewal will work or not. So Let's see. All right. So, certificate not due for renewal, but simulated renewal for dry run. It did all the challenges and congratulations. All renewals succeeded. Succeeded. So, yep. So everything it is. Thank you for watching all the video series and please let me know in which part I can improve and which part you all want me to make more tutorials. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.